Hello everybody, Andrew Tice here with the Integrated Power Washing here in Warner Robins, Georgia. Uh, just uh, showing you my stain comparison test, uh, my proper staining methods over here. Uh, today I want to do a little experiment. Uh, it's kind of the thing I like to do. A lot of arguments about the best way to clean wood. Some folks say just sodium hypochlorite, some people say just uh, sodium hydroxide, uh, both of them followed by oxalic. Well today I'm going to put that uh, that argument to the test. I don't know if we're going to find any results, but I am going to clean one panel of this fence with sodium hypochlorite and one panel with sodium hydroxide. I'm going to follow both with oxalic acid. Uh, my mixture over here with the sodium hypochlorite is going to be about 25%. Uh, we're going to start with that. Actually, we might start with 10%, and then we're going to do three ounces a gallon of sodium hydroxide over here, and then we're going to let them both, uh, we're going to clean them both, then we're going to shoot both of them with three ounces a uh, gallon of oxalic acid. Um, I do use pressure tech uh, chemicals so we're looking at F18 followed by F8 and then just some 10 10.5 uh, percent uh, SH over here sodium uh, hypochlorite and uh, we'll get back with you. With... Alright so we got our chems mixed up on the right is sodium hydroxide three ounces a gallon on the left is sodium hypochlorite about 10 percent straight solution uh, that's uh, 10 10 cups water per one cup of 10.5% uh, sodium hypochlorite. We're going to do the one on the left with sodium hypochlorite, one on the right with sodium hydroxide. Our first step is going to be to pre-wet the wood. This is an important step because if you don't do that, your chemical will soak in deep and will start to fur the wood even more than it would. So do remember to pre-wet your wood, especially on a hot day like today. Uh, that is important. Okay, so while doing this, a lot of guys ask, what kind of pressure do I use? Uh, what, uh, what do you use to wash off with? Uh, right here we're using a quarter inch mag 25 15 rinse tip that's what we're gonna rinse all our chemicals with that's actually what we're gonna pre-wet too so uh, never too much pressure um, minimal pressure minimal amount of chemicals is what you need to, to uh, clean wood so uh, I hope I'm not stealing too much of mr. ever Abrams uh, thunder here this is really his his uh, formula here you want to learn about how to clean wood he's the man uh, him and Shane Brasso if that's how you say your name sorry Shane and Charlie Soden, uh, those guys are really who I learned it from. But I just wanted to put this video out here, so uh, I'll shut up and we'll get to work. All right, now right away you can see the difference. Uh, on the left, hypochlorite, instant clean, instant uh, bleaching of the stains. On the left, the hydroxide, it just darkened it. So uh, let's see how we do after we rinse. All right, we're back here. Uh, on the left is our hypochlorite. All right, we're back again uh, here uh, done with these two panels uh, on the left is our hypochlorite on the right is our hydroxide you can instantly see uh, the difference the one on the left is a lot lighter the one on the right is a little bit darker um, how that will end in uh, and I don't know I will say this though I was extremely wrong about something um, I can't remember the gentleman's name I just sent a message out to that I said that hydroxide would not fur the wood as much as as uh, hypochlorite would and I was wrong hydroxide does indeed fur the wood more than the hypochlorite um, but the wood on the hydroxide is much richer it's it's uh, you can see the grain more if you get up close here you can kind of see you can see your fur here uh, right here um, you can really kind of it'll, it'll really show up once we dry it um, but on the left here it's not as bad on some of the boards I mean some of them do have fur it's all gonna have fur because it's a it's a rough cut pine fence but uh, this is pressure treated pine. Couple notes on application and pump, pump up sprayers and mixtures and all that. Um, I did tell you that I did uh, mix these and pump up sprayers, two different pump up sprayers. Um, hydroxide does have a shelf life or a half life, not a half life. It does have a lifespan once you mix it together. You don't want to really go mixing it the night before. Um, day of, I believe Charlie Soden told me uh, about eight hours. You want to use it within eight hours. Um, obviously, hypochlorite. It's we all know what it does. Bleach it. it Sometimes it lasts, you know, if you seal it up and all that. So anyway, that's a good look at our uh, our step two completion, which is uh, we pre-wetted, then we applied our soap, then we pressure washed it off. I guess that'd be step three. Uh, our fourth step is going to be to apply oxalic. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that at three ounces a gallon. Um, you really want to mix these these powder mixtures with hot water. Um, today I did not use hot water, but I'm only mixing small small batches, so I'm easier to uh, it's easier to shake that. So uh, uh, oxalic to come. Hey guys, something to add here. I know there's a lot of clips here. I'll try to make it fast. Uh, oxalic acid, 
uh, sodium hydroxide, sodium hypochlorite. Uh, sodium hypochlorite and sodium hydroxide are both caustics. Uh, an acid is obviously an acid. You mix those two together, it's not good. So make sure if you're using the same pump-up sprayer as I'm doing today, you rinse the caustic out. And don't just rip the pump, rinse the pump-up sprayer, rinse the wand too, rinse everything. A couple times, because uh, it gets to foam and to making some stinky uh, gas if you don't do that. So make sure you rinse. All right, now oxalic is applied. Um, another little note here to uh, take from this. Uh, you don't ever want your chemicals to dry on there. A lot of folks say you can leave oxalic. You don't have to rinse it off. You don't have to pressure wash it. I know that, but I always rinse it. Uh, and then another side note, um, for all of you guys that are new or might be getting into this or um, anything like that, every technique you've seen here, I learned from the first pressure washing convention I went to in 2013, the PWRA convention in Nashville. Um, I went to uh, Charlie Soden's class, and I learned every technique you see here that I've done from that. So if you think those, uh, those conventions are really just kind of joke or a drunk fest or just dudes meeting up and exchanging cards, it's not. I learned a lot from it. Uh, wood has been my number one money maker. I've made more money from it than anything else. So uh, if you have a chance to go, um, go. If you need help getting there, a lot of guys will help you. Um, I received a free ticket in 2013. I received a free ticket in 2014, which I gave back. Um, I paid for it, but then I gave it back because uh, I you know, kind of pay it forward type thing. Um, and this year I'm getting another free ticket from Mr. John Gutowski. So thank you out to him. And uh, I'm going to rinse this off, and then we will be back in probably a couple hours to take a look to see our final results. All right, so we are now dry. And I don't know about you, there is barely a difference. There is a difference, though. Um, on the left here, we have uh, sodium hypochlorite, obviously. Uh, it is a little bit lighter. Um, the wood, this is old wood, so I don't really take too much stock in that. Uh, medium furring. Uh, kind of whitened up a little bit. I would say if you're going to do stain afterwards, this is perfectly fine. Um, if you're just going to clean, this definitely looks better to me. Um, I don't know if it'll come out in the video, but uh, as far as furring goes, I might have been a little wrong. Um, there is some furring here. Uh, it is fuzzier than the, than the SH. Uh, the hydroxide did fur a little bit more. This wood is still a little wet too, so um, I might take one last clip after I'm done, um, after a couple more hours, but this middle board is really where you can tell. I'm going to kind of walk parallel to it. You can tell. Now that is the same board. That board runs continuous through those both those sections. So uh, you can definitely tell the difference here um, from where I'm standing in color. But honestly, tit for tat, really. There's. Uh, I'm going to call it a close draw, maybe give the slight edge to uh, sodium hydroxide. Um, I will say the sodium hydroxide did clean off the dirt and stuff a little bit easier than the, the hypochlorite did. Little side note too, I didn't add this in, the 10% little thing I did with uh, one cup SH for 10 cups of water, yeah that wasn't even close to strong enough. I ended up going 30%, uh, three cups per 10, so uh, uh, three to three, you know, three for ten. Uh, uh, that's kind of the way I went. Um, I had to add a couple, you know, cups to my next mix and, and kind of do it again because it just didn't do it. Uh, and even then, there's still a little green up here, uh, right here from the SH. And that's probably more app, you know, app my error than the chemicals fault. But uh, hydroxide definitely is my chemical of choice. It still will be. Cost comparison, it's about. It's about similar um, for me. Uh, I pay fifty dollars for ten pounds of SA of uh, hydroxide. I pay two dollars and seventy three cents a gallon for ten and a half percent. Cost comparison, it ends up being about the same. Um, the S the hydroxide is a little bit more expensive, but for these results, I'll take that because I really consider myself a premier wood care guy. Still learning. Uh, I consider myself a professional by where I, way I act. I'm um, definitely not a know-it-all, but obviously way better than that. <laughs> so there you guys go. Um, please give me any questions. Uh, shoot any questions at me. Uh, any concerns, any corrections, any information you guys have for me, uh, please keep it coming. Um, and I look forward to seeing all of you at the convention that uh, watch this. And uh, thank you for watching.